Now, I travel all over the country to seek out interesting collections for you, the viewers of Collector's Lot. Well, today, I've come to Radio York to meet a chap whose collection might just come as a bit of a surprise. He's in there right at this very moment. That is David Dunning, the presenter of The Sunday Show. Now, I'm going to see if I can get a chat with him while he's off air. So that's all coming up after the news. Join us here on BBC Radio York. David, right, uh, I'm hello. sorry to uh, barge in on you like this, but a reliable source tells me that you have a collection that we might be interested in looking at. Uh, yeah, yes, I do, yes. I okay, do. no, you don't have it here. I can no, see that. No. Could we have a little look at it? Yeah, all right then, yes. Uh, just uh, excuse me a moment. I must just put a record on before, uh, before we go, okay? David collects vacuum cleaners. Nothing unusual about that, you might think, but a bloke like David? You're a hip happening sort of a guy, David. Now, why Hoovers? I don't know, really. It's, it's a, a strange thing that a lot of people always ask me. I think probably it dates back to, to being a child, of being fascinated by uh, the way that they work, particularly the ones we've got here, that, as you've seen, float on a cushion of air. But I like the design as well, and I also like what they tell us about uh, the way that this, uh, this vital piece of equipment uh, for the home has developed over the years. These are the, the Hoover Constellation range. Their space-age design and the fact that they float on a cushion of air really links them to two things and two periods in, in, in our history where people were fascinated with space travel and hovercrafts. And of course, the two, two things that were very much new in the 50s and 60s. And I think that's where they've got their inspiration from. And it was a very popular cleaner, this. You'll find still that a lot of people have got them in garages for doing out the car. And, and, and they last as well. I mean, they were, they were built to last, unlike some of the stuff that we get today. So that accounts for why they're still around us. Hoover, of course, has become a bit of a generic name, hasn't it, for vacuum cleaners generally? Yes, it has, yes. I mean, it's, what more could you want if you're a manufacturer than somebody to take your name to mean the product that, it, that, that you're actually making? And that was, that was very, very useful for Hoover. I thought your collection was a bit bigger than this, though, David. Ah, yeah, well, it is a little bit bigger, I've got to admit. But, uh, I mean, as much as I like them, you don't want them littered all over the house, do you, for people to trip over. So we have to go upstairs to the loft, and I'll show you more. Oh, can we have a look? Yeah, come on, I'll show you. This is one heck of a broom cover, oh, goodness. Hey, my mother used to have one of those. That's an Electrolux, I recognise that. Yeah, that's the funny thing about them, actually. People who come and say, oh, we used to have one of those, or oh, my granny had one of those. But look, let me just show you some of them, because this one here, these are the, the 70s uprights here. Now, I'm quite pleased with this, because to, to actually get together the same type of cleaners from a particular era, we're talking about 75, 76 here. My mum had one of those. <laughs> uh, that's my auntie's. This belonged to a mate of mine at the BBC in Newcastle called Tony. He asked me to mention that. Uh, we've also got this, which is a, a French Hoover convertible. The reason why it's called a convertible is because you could stick the pipe in at the back and it would be a cylinder cleaner. Quite why they, why they marketed it as a Hoover convertible, considering you could put tools on all the others. For instance, this one here. You put a hose on there? You would put that little connector in, and it was ready there like that. So how many have you got in your collection? I think it's about 60, but I do tend to lose count. Uh, they're all over the place. Always out of sight, because they're not the sort of things that you want people to, to, to see all the time. Is there any item you're looking for to complete your collection? Yes, yes. Only probably a pink version of this. This is a Hoover Senior Cleaner. This was actually made specially for the co-op, this. It's actually all made of plastic, that, instead of metal, so they must have skimped a bit on the, uh, the cost of building that. I think they were about £35, £39, something like that, when they were sold. But there, there are pink versions that go back right the way to the 50s. They're called the Hoover Deluxe. They look exactly the same, but in pink, and trying to find one of those in decent condition is very, very hard. Unfortunately, it's pink, <laughs> which means that you go around and say, if anybody's seen a pink Hoover Deluxe, you do get some funny looks sometimes. But... Well, I wish you every success in your quest for a pink Hoover Deluxe and uh, I'm sure you'll find one one day. You never know. Thank you.